Jen from Making the Photo. In this quick video, I'll show you how to animate your AI generated images. This is actually quite easy to do with apps out there right now. There are a number of apps you can use that animate still images, but in this video, I'm going to use Motion Leap. The Motion Leap app is available for both Android and Mac. For this video, I'll be using an image that I created in the program Mid Journey. I'll show you first how to get your Midjourney image from your Midjourney account to your phone. We're going to start by logging into our Midjourney app on a browser window on your phone. Your photos are on the home page. Find the image you want to work with. And here I use the search smoke. Open the image and then click the download icon, which looks like a, an old floppy disk, and that will download your image to your camera roll. Download the Motion Leap app from either Google Play or the App Store and open it. Motion Leap is a paid program, but it also has quite a few free tools. Today we're going to use just the free tools to animate our image. Let's start by adding an element to our image. There are all sorts of elements to choose from. I've chosen the smoke element for this image. With a pro account, you can add as many elements as you want. With a free account, you can add one. Drag and place the element where you want it. Motion Leap may only let you add one element, but you can add different types of effects. Let's add an overlay. There are a lot to choose from, even in the free version. I've chosen the smoky overlay, perfect for this image, but it's too strong. So now I can adjust the opacity to make it fit in with the original image. The other tool I like is effects. You get three powerful ones for free. One of them is an orange smoke effect. Move it around and place it where you want. Notice how the direction of the smoke changes. Now you can adjust the opacity to make it fit in. The powerful animate feature is only available at the pro level, but you can use this tool at the free level. You just can't export the results. Paint the area you want to move, then draw directional arrows to show the movement. You can add more than one arrow. You can add as many as you want. You can add them up, down, side to side, or arcade. Erase the paint if you want that area to remain frozen. It takes a little bit of experimentation, but you can get some very complex movement with such a simple tool. Motion Leap is known for beat loops. Choose a track provided by the app or upload one of your own. The animation will pulse with the beat. You can change colors and saturation and play with the overall effect. we're looking at animation tools, but Motion Leap has a lot more to offer. You can replace skies. Some of them even have motion to them. You can add some water effects. Or you can add 3D camera motion. These are a lot of fun to play with. And they have 3D uh, effects in the foreground and background. When you're happy with the animation, click export. This saves the video to your camera roll, ready to send it to your favorite social media platform. You have some popular aspect ratio ratios to choose from, and you can adjust the length of your video loop. Six seconds is the default. Pro users have additional quality and export options. In August 2022, Lighttrix added an AI image generation tool on their app. I haven't had much time to play with it yet, but it seems to return very different results from Midjourney. I'll review this tool in a future video. 
add Midjourney plus Motion Leap and you get animated AI images. The tools are simple to use. Your only limitation is your imagination. There are many other AI image generation tools and animation tools out there. Let me know in the comments which tools you like to use and post some animated images. We love to see what you're doing. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something beautiful.